Good afternoon, new 1%. It's Satoshi Boomin coming at you with another video, and boy, do we have a good one for you. Smash that subscribe button, guys. We have a goal of 10,000 subscribers. I cannot do it without you. Smash it for me. Got my hot tea and honey locked and loaded, ready to go. Let's get this show started. We have the Cardano updates today, guys. Looking at the price, we are up about 5.1% today. Uh, not really much to talk about. We've been accumulating in this range for about a week, about two weeks now. Um, I know people are getting a little bit frustrated, like always, because number don't go up forever, but that's okay. Um, we're, we're just literally stacking and chilling. Nothing really has changed here. Big accumulation phase here but uh look we have accumulation phases and then we rise accumulation phases and we, we rise accumulation phases and then we rise um towards the end of the month we should get some decent price action as the alonzo hard fork is going to be announced uh we just need to keep our eyes on that now enough of the price we have billionaires fudding cardano guys we have billionaires fudding cardano and you know what the saying is you know how the saying goes first they ignore you and then they laugh at you, then they fight you, then you win. Guys, we are <laughs> we are in a new era, in my humble opinion. We are in an era where people are going to have to start FOMOing in. And people's cognitive dissonance is really going to get a hold of them and make them do irrational things like buy ADA at the top. <laughs> And then FUD it on the way down. It's, it's really, really crazy. So we have Bitcoin Tycoon. Mike Novogratz takes an interest. Actually, no, he doesn't take an interest. He straight up FUDs it. Um, <laughs> uh, Mike Novogratz says ADA is one of the few cryptocurrencies he has never traded. Um, the CEO a uh, digital asset bank galaxy digital has expressed a curiosity in a recent tweet he says does anyone build on it use it why is the market cap so high should it be a funding asset come on man what are you doing you should already know this stuff Apart from Bitcoin and Ethereum, Novogratz, one of the first Wall Streeters to embrace the crypto industry, has gotten behind some of the names in decentralized finance, DeFi. In a January interview with rapper Little Yachty, he mentioned the likes of Ave, Chainlink, could make a splash in the financial industry. So he, he mentions the likes of Yearn Finance and Uniswap, but he doesn't know what ADA is? Come on, do you expect, how dumb do you think I am? Mike, you know exactly what ADA is. You know exactly who Charles Hoskinson is. And you know what ADA is about. Why are you funny? Is it because you want to drop the price down a little bit so you can pick up some more? I think that's what it is. <laughs> uh, so he says, so tokens like Aave, Chainlink, Compound, Yearn, and Uniswap, those five... There's a chance those five blow up in the world, not the next week or the next month, but in the next five years. He's also lashed out at Litecoin and sounded the alarm on Doge. She sounded like a boomer. <laughs> and now it just goes on here to FUD. Just you today is not. I, I don't know what this uh news publication is but it it's not really fair and balanced how is this a perplexing rally we have native tokens now gogan implementation is going on as we speak we have staking we've been getting staking rewards what are you talking about iohk charles hoskinson has already jumped on the idea to the opportunity to pitch his creation inviting novogratz to a call Cardano has soared over 84% before the Merry Hard Fork was launched on March 1st. In late February, the quote-unquote Ethereum killer became the third largest cryptocurrency, but since then, it has ceded ground to Binance Coin, currently sitting in fourth place. Yet the cryptocurrency's critics, whose ranks include Bitcoin and Ethereum maximalists, do not pull punches, calling the token the most expensive vaporware ever made because of its apparent lack of use cases and its, devalue, and its uh, developer's failure to deliver smart contracts. What the f- <sighs> The FUD is always the most before the parabolic rise, guys. You guys know I do V-Chain videos daily. That's what, you know, brought me here. But, guys, I'm telling you, the FUD back then 
when it was less than a pity was insane right before we went to one cent. The FUD was insane right before we went to two cents and so on and so on and so on. So could this be a sign that we're about to have a parabolic rise after the Alonzo hard fork? Could this be a sign that after the Africa project is being released, after we have full Gogan implementation, we could get to that illustrious, sought out <laughs> market cap of a trillion dollars, which would lead the ADA token to be priced at $32 per token. Is that right around the corner? We, we just have to wait and find out, guys. The FUD is creeping in. We have billionaires talking crap. We have hedge funds getting into Cardano. I'm excited. I'm excited for the future. Let me know what you guys think down below about this story. Voting has started. Guys, this is amazing. Uh, help Cardano. Add support for ATMs, guys. This gentleman here is apparently working with uh, Bitcoin ATMs, and he wants to integrate Bitcoin ATMs with the Cardano token. This is awesome, guys. This is a proposal on idea scale. Please check it out. Project Catalyst, Fund 3 Developer Ecosystem. The problem statement, you cannot currently buy ADA from any Bitcoin ATMs. We will change that if this proposal is chosen. We will integrate ADA into the General Bytes Bitcoin ATMs by developing extension for ADA in the open software. I, uh, the relevant experience. I have been operating ATMs for 28, since 2018 and I run the Cardano stake pool, Cardano Abu stake pool. I've also been involved in Cardano for the last three and a half years. So um, this is definitely awesome and this is something that we want to take a look at guys um let's go ahead take a look you should be voting on um catalyst for plant for projects that you are interested in and um you know this is uh yeah this is definitely a worthy cardano improvement proposal so to speak so if you're interested in voting on this please do I think I might vote for this proposal. This is definitely awesome. We need more ADA adoption. All right, just real quick, guys, we're going to go through this briefly. All right, be careful. Thank you to uh, you, Glenn Horse House, you, Glenn House, uh, for posting this on Reddit. Be very careful when viewing official sites through hyperlinks. Veteran holders might re recognize this scam, but it's important for new users to be aware. The tactics use at phishing. Um, so just make sure, guys, that you're going to the correct site here. Uh, you know, it's super easy to get tripped up. Dataliswallet.io, not dataliswallet.com, not dataliswallet.net. Ada Light, A D A L I T E dot I O. Yoroy dash wallet dot com. Treasure dot I O, not treasure dot com, not treasure dot biz. Just make sure you're going to the right sites, guys. Super easy to get fished, and people are out here for your crypto, man. They don't care about you. All right, guys. So we have Alonzo. Alonzo bringing smart contracts to Cardano. So this isn't the next big one, guys. Um, th we're, this will bring smart contract functionality to the main net. Um, now, Alonzo hard fork will be announced at the end of the month. Um, and normally it takes a month for them to beat the hell out of the, uh, uh, test net. So hopefully by the end of the month, we could get a nice price rise. This is a very long article. I'm not going to go over it. The whole thing, just this little part here, the history and potential of smart contracts. You may be surprised that the idea of smart contracts is older than Bitcoin Nick Spazzo was the first man on the planet who mentioned the term smart contract in 1994. Notice at that time there was no decentralized blockchain network. In his work, Nick Spazzo, Zazbo, described smart contracts in the following way. A smart contract is a computerized transaction protocol that executes the terms of any contract. The, the general objectives of the smart contract design are to satisfy common contractual conditions, such as payment terms, liens, confidentiality, and even enforcement, and minimize exceptions in both malicious and accidental 
and accidental and minimize the need for trusted intermediaries. Uh, related economic goals include lowering fraud loss, arbitration, enforcement costs, and other transaction costs. So this is pretty cool, guys. I will go ahead, if I were you, and read the whole article. It's about a 12-minute read, so if you got a few minutes to um, sit down and really ingest this, this will be awesome. Let's look at the conclusion here. The first thing we will see on Cardano will probably be decentralized exchanges. Swapping digital assets is the simplest thing we could do. Smart contracts technology is just one building stone. We need more of them to bring more useful functionalities. We will need identity management systems to work with identities. We have that alter prism. We will need oracles to link digital and physical worlds together. At the moment, we are in the early stages and everything is under development. Har Alonzo Hard Fork will bring smart contracts to Cardano. Alter Prism is the identity management for Cardano. It will, it will help to bring so far unseen functionalities. And I would thoroughly agree. Guys, we're in a new era. I'm so excited for the future of Cardano. And, uh, you know, we, <laughs> we are so early. We are so, um, you know, early to the party that, uh, you know, it's kind of scary to see where Cardano is going to be in the next 10, 15 years, but I'm ready for it. And lastly, guys, we have Emergo, a trusted partner of Cardano here. Uh, we are thrilled to announce that Emergo's blockchain traceability solution was covered in the Japan Times. Full story is here. Unfortunately, you they make you sign up for it, but it looks like Cardano's getting into the food traceability movement. This is pretty awesome. You can get info at info at emergo.io to integrate your solution. So that's pretty cool. I'll keep my eye on this as further developments occur. Uh, Emergo is really, really awesome for the Cardano Foundation and IOHK as well. So that's something to look forward to. Thank you to my wonderful Patreons, AJ, Brett Garlic House, Mac Harris, Sergio, Lassie Nielsen, The Frontline, Jeffrey, Ethan, AmericanHomeRemedies.com, Maryland for Crypto, Boost Wayne, Fruz Den, Brady Adams, Joe Jimenez, Kyle Bocci, CryptoSVT.SI, Eric Parra, at Dig the Voice, For the People, HBDSouthBay.com, Daniel A, Crypto Kim Trails, Climax ZH, and Angela Schroyer. Thank you so much for your wonderful Patreon support. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, let me know if you still want these Cardano videos. Uh, I love doing the two a days. Um, just stick with me, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Don't let your memes be dreams, and I will come at you tomorrow with the V-Chain updates. Goodbye.